Butterscadoosh. Okay, boys. Ladies. Fellas. Gentlewomen. <laughs> Welcome to the gameplay for Chikun. And never re Now, the reason why I'm not going to do the new dungeons is because... I don't know. <laughs> this is the one I queued for. I've already done the expert dungeon today anyways. So anyways, as I was saying before, it's totally not like 10.50 um, in the morning. Which is not early enough for me. But anyways, so good news is... Is that a maid tank? <laughs> really? Oh, good summer. Um, let's do this. So, again, I'm kind of... See, this, this it's kind of far away. It's just like, boink, bink. And you just, you know, spine shatter dive. It stuns it. Get your heavy thrust up. Um, now, I'm not going to AoE because AoE is very expensive in this game. I don't know why I'm popping cooldowns, but... And I forgot the most the most important cooldown is Blood of the Dragon. There we go. You pop Blood of the Dragon. You keep that up 100% of the time because one, it's a lot of damage, and two, it's um, very good to use. Um, it increases your you know your overall damage um, after a over a period of time, of course, because a lot of the abilities it affects well, it affects four abilities: Spine Shatter, Dive, Jump. Uh, fang and claw and wheeling uh, shattering and uh, of course you use two of the four abilities basically on cooldown and then two of the other ones are part of your rotation which is fine by me I, I, I it makes the class a little bit easier than it at level 50 because at level 50 it's literally just um, six abilities that you keep up you use uh, if no no disembowel or uh, chaos starts to keep those up keep up heavy thrust and Bottomize, which is fine. Um, it's not. It's not the most complicated class in the game. I'd say the most complicated in the game, Summoner. And uh, there's reasons for that, and that's why that guy's probably going to come out a little bit later, uh, probably in the next week. I still got to play it. I just hit 60 with it, so I should actually be running dungeons as a Summoner. But obviously, as I do all of my guides, I like to put a little gameplay included with my guide because. Some people, like me, personally, also like to watch gameplay. Um, for instance, you know, the uh, guides Preacher has done in the past, if you guys know who Preacher is, you know, he's the World of Warcraft guy, Preacher, it's a Preacher Gaming or something like that. Um, he does the, um, he does gameplay and a guide, so I find it more helpful than that, but really, do I need guides in WoW? No, because I play one class, it's Hunter. And that class is literally me just going one 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 three one one three two occasionally when I need focus <laughs> so um yeah um that and fucking world of warcraft recently came out with um with um with uh it's patch 6.2.3 and yesterday i ended up forgetting about uploading a video that i rendered out that morning um just because i ended up getting busy and my lack of sleep really doesn't help that much anyway so um, when I when I don't sleep very well I really don't feel good and it makes it really hard for me to record a video or relax but I got some good sleep today feeling pretty good I went to bed a little bit early yesterday anyways so I think tonight since I'm feeling a lot better I do I do would like to um, to try uh, some streaming tonight with some uh, Hellfire Citadel um, and maybe some StarCraft 2. I've been enjoying that a lot. I've been playing the multiplayer StarCraft 2, which is surprising. And uh, I've only done... I haven't really gone into the um, the actual like ranked mode or the unranked mode. I've been in versus AI, and all I've been playing is Terran. That's like all I can play. Like I tried playing Zerg, and I, I like Protoss. Like, Protoss and Terran are my favorites. Zerg, I... I, I, um, I don't... <laughs> I'm not very good at Zerg, <laughs> but yeah, so I might live stream raid tonight and uh, some um, fat uh, hard mode AI uh, versus me in um, in um, in uh, uh, StarCraft, which I think will be a lot of fun personally. Um, I I always just like. I found like the secret to beating the AI on hard mode, which is to siege up for like a couple of their attacks, and then once they're like, like done rushing you, you quickly like, like once you fed off most of their army, 
you quickly get in there and you just start wrecking. Like, the things I build is like siege tank marines and battle cruisers and medvecs. Just because it seems to be working and I can get to it. But sometimes I suck on managing my resources and, uh, well, boom goes the dynamite and I get wrecked by, like, an army of, like, three marines and a marauder. It's like, oh, I don't have enough. Oops. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> Probably should not have used that before trash. It might be up before then, but who knows. Mercy Stroke. So, you know, again, um, as per boss fight and all, explain boss fight, you know, impulse drive. So your opener, again, is going to be the same thing I'm about to show. Except this boss. This boss, I I, I get most of my abilities up because it's a Dragoon. Um, it, uh, you know, it's more helpful that way. Obviously, I didn't hit the boss there. Alright, find him quick. Find him quick. Where is he? Uh, to play the find the birdie. There's the birdie. It's time to die, birdie. So, this bird, like, wants my nuts. Okay, there we go. Get off me, bird! I think I'm pulling aggro off the tank on here these feathers and I'm gonna place this dot on you. I'm gonna use this. Whoosh. So again, the reason why I won't use jump as a gap closer is because um, it puts you back at your location. So you kinda wanna use it mainly when you're on a boss. Um, again, you wanna be careful though and not put yourself in animation lock and all that stuff. So, you know, and never, ever uh, start a new combo halfway through another combo. Just finish that combo. Just, I do, do that. Um, so, yeah, so just, you know. I forgot to use this ability. I'm just going to use it now. Ooh, here you go, guys. Increase crit. So it's a pretty looking ability, too. It's like a little dragon that kind of. All right, let's play Find the Birdie. Here, Birdie. Can you find the Birdie? No, he's over there. Damn it. I'm sorry if this falls off because I got, uh, I got cooldowns. I don't know why I'm going to use cooldowns here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay. I put myself in a corner. Yikes. Um, so see how I have aggro? I'm just going to leap back, and I'm actually going to hit this thing. <laughs> see how I have aggro? I'm just going to leap back, and now I don't have aggro. Um, you want to use that if you have aggro like I do, but, you know, sometimes I forget and don't use it because nine times out of ten, I usually have pretty good... Ow. Tanks. Um, and I lost both the dragon, but that's okay because the cooldown is off, so we can use just basically use it. You want to keep this up 100% of the time as best as you can. Um, you don't let it really ever fall off. Per se, if like a boss like forces it to fall off, that's fine. Um, just, you know, most boss. Oh, I'm forgetting a uh, heavy thrust. Most bosses, um... Nine times out of ten, most bosses don't really do an invulnerability right away, so you'll have a, a good chunk of it up ready to go before uh, um, before uh, uh, one's gonna pop. Oh, well, that's fine. As long as one pops, it's okay. But probably gonna focus the boss. Whoosh. Cool. So yeah. So again, you know, don't 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 usually let this ability fall off unless cir circumstances happen. Where it kind of just falls off because boss is like, oh, gotta go, and like flies away, does some kind of invulnerable shit, and uh, try and refresh it on the ad, or um, you know, just like you can't hit anything and it falls off. Just pray you haven't, you hadn't fucked up before, because it's only like a minute cooldown. Yeah, it's like a minute cooldown, and it, it you can have it up to thirty seconds in total, so you can get it up. It's this one's a lot easier to keep up than the black mage ability. Um, because with the Black Mage, it's not quite part of your rotation, per se. Like, you have to do other abilities. Eh. It's, it's, it's a lot easier than the Black Mage one. Like, the Black Mage, also the Black Mage one decays over time. This one you can just constantly keep refreshing and keep it up. That's the... Oh, wow. Thanks. You gave me, um... You gave me the little, uh... Fine. Usually nine times out of ten, most healers are just like, oh, that's what that's what I do when I level my when I've been leveling my um my um what's it called my 
Astro there, I just, like, burn a Spire or a Mana, because, one, I don't need it, and two, the other TPS don't need it, especially at low level, so whatever. I'm just going to use it to spread the, uh, the big dot. Um, but I think I'm going to put that on hold so I can finally level the Warrior. The, uh, the, uh, what's that class called? The one that plays the Harn? The Bard? <laughs> I don't like Barbas and Quilly Tell, that's why it's the last one. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, I don't know why I like Machinists more. Maybe it's the feel of the Machinists. Like, the Bard is literally, like, one button if all your dots are up and all that kind of stuff, so. Um, just... Still gonna do a guide for it, because why not? So, you know. Otherwise, yeah. Like, Dragoon's, like, very heavy hitting, too. Like, it hits really hard. As long as you have all your, like, damage cooldowns and stuff like that, and you got your piercing stats, and you got good gear. Because, granted, my, my Dragoon's gear is mediocre. It's, like, 170, so... I guess it ain't too bad. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's probably not the worst geared class I have. I think all my classes are basically like 170 now. So, that's good. <laughs> like, my, my, my summoner literally got like, I think an eye level of 180 as soon as like, it hit 60 last night. And, um, I was like, hey, look, I'm 60. And like, it was funny. And I'm like, oh yeah, because of the black mage, like, like, summoner black mage complicate, um, like, complement each other's gear very well. So if you have, like, 190 gear from Alexander or 200 gear from Void Spire, um, which I need to run this week, don't I? Yeah, I do. I gotta make sure I go for ninja gear, not fucking off gear, but then again, my ninja's getting the esoteric gear, so I guess I get to like, go for off-spec gear. Whatever comes first. But, yeah. I like that. I also like how you do like a little backflip. It's a little nifty. Just have a little fun. Sometimes you gotta have fun when you're doing like grind, con when you're grinding shit out sometimes. You know, a lot of times when I'm leveling in dungeons, I just get some music going, I just sit back and relax, and or I'll watch something on Netflix if there's anything on Netflix that I really wanna watch, but I have watched what I needed to watch on Netflix, or I'll watch um, like YouTube videos or something. Or hell, <laughs> or if I'm waiting for a queue, I'll obviously be playing StarCraft because I enjoy StarCraft. Like, I've always enjoyed it, kind of, I've always enjoyed the campaigns, the Plague of Sea Void campaign being really good. Um, I do need to finish the recording for that. I'm pretty sure I'm almost done with it. Um, not sure quite yet, but I thought last time I looked I was pretty close, but who knows. It seems like I was. Also, yeah, Dragonfire dives on a two-minute cooldown, so... Just use it, because it deals a lot of damage anyways, so... Oh, hey, cool. Oh, nice. That Spire thing again. Uh, I don't have a uh, one ability up. It's fine. I'll get that back up here in a second. Just gonna... Heavy Thrust. And then you do Impulse Drive. And, yeah, Impulse Drive, and then... Disembowel. Chaos Thrust. Uh oh Oh! A little too quick there. These ads die usually pretty fast, so that doesn't usually matter. I mean, especially when this stuff is like the easier content now, considered as it's now no longer expert dungeons. It's now considered level 60 dungeons, so. Which is fine. Same thing with high level dungeons. They're no longer considered high level, they're now level 50. But then again, they're mainly used for leveling. I need to run those some more. I was going to wait till I get my Marauder to uh, 60 and get some gear and then just troll around in those. Alright. So we're actually going to use the uh, cooldown. See? Bing! There we go. We actually used it. <laughs> what you're talking about? I use it all the time. <laughs> so pop my cooldowns. Thrust going. Then just keep doing your normal rotation here. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh, sacred totem. There we go. Grab this 
stuff in here. Boop. It's very important you also do mechanics, even if abilities fall off. Mechanics are way more important than uh, punching things in the face. As some people will agree upon that, and some people will be like, oh, I just like to punch things in the face. As is every other DPS. Trust me, I do too, but I prefer not to wipe, you know? It's just that thing where, you know... I, I mean, my abilities may fall off, but I'm okay with that because I did a mechanic that saves time. Did we get everything? Okay, cool. Just combo off. Play heavy thrust. Go into impulse drive combo. And set up your action bars kind of like each combo has its own kind of system. Um, you know, for instance, you can have... Um, have, like the full thrust combo in its own little area, yeah, and then the, um... Get the pet out of here. I only got three seconds to get back on the bus. Oh, saved it. So, you know. Oh, are you kidding me? I fucked that up somehow. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I'm actually going to re repeat this combo here after I refresh everything since I don't have, um. Don't have, uh. What's that ability called up? Go disembowel, yeah. Run, Johnny, run, run, run. Boop. Alright, should be everything. And, you know, manage your, your abilities that are off the global to be on the global, you know, to use them in your free time. Um, don't let heavy thrust throw off like I keep doing. Heavy thrust is kind of annoying to keep up because it's only like 24 seconds long and sometimes it can fall off at like a bad time, like you're in the middle of a combo or, um, you know, maybe you should I should be refreshing as soon as I end the second. It's like every other combo you can, um, you know, refresh it, so... So like at the end of this combo, I would refresh it, and he's actually dead. Never mind. So yeah, these dungeons go a lot faster these days. Like I remember when these dungeons took like thirty minutes. Must have been what? Two like fifteen. I think you start like ninety minutes or something like that in these dungeons. Yeah, and it's like ninety minute dungeons. Smuggler's gas mask. What? Oh, gas skins. <laughs> or gas kins. Or Gaskins. <laughs> this game. I like this game. Not fun. And I'm glad uh, 6.1 uh, 6 just came out. Sorry. The fucking World of Warcraft 6.2.3 just came out. And they brought back the most annoying currency in the world. And then it makes me angry. Also quite sad. Of why they would... Uh, of why they would... Um, bring it back no need for it and sad like they took it out in the beginning of warlords and they're like oh we got to bring it back because we got to make you know our our dumb dungeons relevant because why not but then again it's not even it's it's just it's item upgrades come on like get over it so another thing is your dives obviously don't end um, combos, so use your dives you can in between GCDs or your jumps or your jump. I guess one can say. Uh, make sure keep up your dot, keep up your debuffs. Oh, it's very, very simple. Like just keep your dots and debuffs up and all that stuff. Make sure you manage um, Blood of the Dragon well. You keep that up. Make sure you jump basically on cooldown. If you if the Blood of the Dragon's not up. To jump or not to jump is the question. Um, well, if it's not, it's worth still just jumping. Um, unless Blood and Dragon's going to be like a couple seconds off cooldown or some crazy thing like that. But otherwise, just jump. Because jump is cool. It's a really cool ability anyways. Also, make sure you use Life Surge on um, Full Thrust because it's the hardest hitting ability you got. Um, that will proc from Life Surge, so that's why I use it on Full Thrust. Um, so. Let's 
so yeah, there's that. Always finish a combo. It's very important you always finish a combo, because if you don't, then you lose out one on damage, and two, Blood of the Dragon may go And you don't want Blood of the Dragon to go Because if it goes then there goes your damage. <laughs> so. Oh, do I need that? Like, or do I want to just, like, try and grind up for, uh... I don't need it anyways. Try and grind up for uh, the 170 gear. That's what I'm doing right now. I thought about doing healer gear, but I think I'm going to do uh, tank gear now. So, yeah. So that's good. I think by now my... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm behind this guy. I guess I am. <laughs> I am! Haha! Take that, nerd. Yeah. So after this one... After this willing thrust here, I'm going to refresh heavy thrust. And refresh. Nice. So, yeah. So, well, I'm sure Blood of the Dragon will still be up before. Um, uh, <laughs> what am I stuck on? Nothing. Whee! Here comes the duck. I'm surprised the healer doesn't want to put stone skin on everybody. Refresh protect, it's fine. Yeah, protect is like 30 minutes, only like 8 minutes left. Bum, 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 bum. Pokey, pokey. Alright, here we go. Aha! Watch me in four. And so that can happen again. Like I said, if a boss invulnerables or does some stupid thing like that, and then you can't refresh, it's gonna fall off and it'll make you a very sad dragoon. And sad dragoons are not happy dragoons. So you make sure you want to be a happy dragoon and keep keep up that uh, that um, oh, the dragon. Damn you, wind. You win today. Oops, uh. Remember, a happy dragoon keeps the duck. Oh, wait. Fucking hate those things. These tornadoes, they piss me off on Bismarck, but piss me off here. It's like Age of the Tornadoes or some shit. <laughs> tornadoes will reign supreme again! He's about to go into his uh, few phase. No? Any second, uh, eight stacks, and here it comes. Ah! Gotta play the dodging game, boys. Fang Claw. Uh, nope. Oh, no, get to this. Also, duly note uh, if uh, Blood of the Dragon falls off, your sharper Fanger Claw or an enhanced Wheel Thrust will fall off at the same time. So even though one has a longer cooldown than the other, um, yeah. I'm just gonna refresh it now. Seeing as I can't, uh, refresh it before. Oops. Oh, well, I'll just finish this combo up. Stop throwing me around, you giant fucking snake. <laughs> snake! Overflow. And the boss spun around, so I lost on damage because spinny boss is spinny. Oh well. Not much you can do about that either. Like, there's a couple bosses in the new instance that make me really uh, a sad Jagoon one because, like, she'll, like, place her little minions. It's like, ah, oh, you bitch. Uh, d fuck it. Wait, no! <laughs> Never mind, it canceled it for me. 
Damn it. Should have went for it earlier. Oh, I'm gonna lose Blow the Dragon. Uh, I can't save it. Damn. It's alright. It's cooldowns here. I've taken a lot of damage. For someone who said Dragoon's easy, here I am struggling, but this is fucking fight. This fight sucks. Like, I don't hate this instance, I just hate this fight. I hate two fights in this entire instance. The middle one's okay, like, it's not... Okay, that's GG. I just, like, every time I do this, like, I'm always like, okay, it's like, yeah, hey, hey, don't... God damn it! I hate when you get that challenge. It's like Dungeon Master, you mother of a fucker. Oh well, it's fine. It doesn't like bother me all that much, anyways. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching the uh, six through six three point one Dragoon Guide um, for Heaven's Ward and blah 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 blah. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Probably be Legacy of the Void. Um, I think I'm gonna record that today, and then I'm gonna relax and get ready for raid. And then after raid, I play some StarCraft. Probably go to bed. So see you guys later. Peace.